Hello, welcome hey. to our Q&A. We have several interesting questions that you have been wondering. What does the Hicks family have and what do they normally do on a normal day? And any other odd questions that you might be wondering about us? Oh no! Oh yeah! Yes, we throw along some odd, odd questions. That we'll be happy to answer. Oh. And by the way, we are totally sick right now. We have a virus yeah. going on. So don't mind if we cough or sneeze or watery eyes. <laughs> yeah, buddy. We actually we haven't, haven't been feeling the best. It's yeah. like a cold or something. Air infection. So. Yeah. yeah. Don't mind us. First question. I don't know. What church do you go to? And what domina denomination are you? <sighs> you want to answer this one? Okay, so we are, uh, we have our own home church. It is called Charity Baptist Church, and that's what we named it. Um, we used to actually go to a church. Originally, we would go to a Baptist church because that is what most agreed with our beliefs in the Bible. But it's not exactly what we believe, so we don't really have a denomination anymore. We just go off of what the Bible says, and that's it. We have. We a, used to be a Baptist. We used to try to. Did you say that already? You say what you're gonna say. We used to oh, be Baptist God. since when we were younger, and found out that there was no church suitable for us because they all kind of mix the Bible together, blend, blend it together, it. and when you're supposed to rightly divide it, yeah. and compare scripture with scripture. So we don't actually go to a actual church building. We do our home church. We do it every Sunday and morning, Sunday night, and Wednesday night. Yeah. And uh, the, our teacher is uh, Les Feldick. You can actually see him right here. And I'll have a link to his YouTube down below. He is a great preacher. He he's not a he doesn't like to consider himself a preacher, but he's to more us he's our preacher. <laughs> to us he's our preacher, but he's more of a teacher. Just teaches you in the Bible, takes you steps through steps. Yeah. It's just calm. Uh, searching out the scriptures together, calmly. Yeah. Um, and we see what the Bible truly really has to say, so yeah, we don't really have a denomination. And but if you were to try to find our denomination, like denomination, what the would closest be? one would be Baptist. Baptist. Other than that, all the denominations are just—they don't believe anything right. They just believe works or yeah, false gods, different things like that. Yeah, we we just believe faith plus nothing. Just faith equals salvation. Yeah, faith and, and his death, burial, yeah. and resurrection, and that salvation right there. Yeah. In a nutshell. Oh! <laughs> okay. Oh, there's a nice one. Another one goes with that one. How does your home church work? Slash, how do you do get fellowship? Okay, so. Yeah. Our home church works as is. Okay, every Sunday morning, we all about uh, 11. 30 to 11. Yeah. Gather around. My dad says it's time for church. And we sit in the living room. Typically, uh, we sometimes dress up because we feel like it's uh, honorable, honorable to God. But obviously it's not needed for like salvation or uh, God's not expecting you to. But it's or, just honorable to him. Like if you were to go on a date, you would dress up for the person because... That's respectful. Yeah, and you want to show him your best. You want to show God your best because he's the highest person ever. But when it comes to being fake and trying to dress up for attention wise we try to leave that out if yeah. possible so and then uh once we all uh gather we sit down find our seats and hit play on oh no we actually sing yeah we sing a few hymns a few uh, hymns yeah we, we have a hymnal here and my dad picks out the hymns and we all sing together yeah. usually some <laughs> like uh Let's see here, what's one of dad's favorite hymns to sing? Uh, I think. This World Is Not My Home. Yeah. The, this that's World Is Not My Home, that's his favorite one. Oh, that's also in the description if you want to see it. <laughs> Down below. Uh, probably. <laughs> yeah, we have CDs that we actually bought from Les Feldick Ministries. So then, uh, we are explaining the process. That's what I'm trying to do right now. Oh. We pop in the CDs. Sorry. 
or DVDs, not CDs. I don't know why am I saying CDs? DVDs. <laughs> we pop in the DVDs and <laughs> what? Nothing, keep going. We pop in the DVDs and we hit play and just watch from there and you can come first. Okay. Okay, so we hit play on the DVD and we watch it. It's about a half hour long program. And uh, at the end, when we're all done with the program, my dad, he looks at all of us and asks us what we learned. So we each individually go through each kid, what we learned and what we took from the message so that we can all pay attention and see what each other are learning to share with each other and to kind of just brainstorm, I guess yeah, I'd say. That, that has helped me a lot personally. Uh, if my dad never did that growing up, I would not have a secure foundation in yep. God. And I would probably not be paying attention to the teachings, but thankfully to that, growing up, it made me learn to have opened. a solid foundation in God and to open up my understanding to it. So now, me being older, me wanting to learn more about God, it's easier now because my dad opened up that understanding from a young age. And like, not only does it open up conversation about biblical matters but it also helps us strengthen our relationship with our siblings and our parents so we're like we're open with all our deepest thoughts and not just off the top thoughts right is it my turn or yours you can go i don't know i think it's my turn I'll take. do you guys play any instruments really yes the instrument player you answer this question first i do play instruments i play all kinds of instruments actually so Ever since I was little, I've always had a, a really good hunch for music. Yeah, she is very, very good at any instrument. If I'm, you hand her it within the next three minutes, she's playing every song imaginable on it. I uh, pick it out by ear, yeah. I can pick any song if I know it uh, by heart. I can pick it out on the any instrument. Instruments I do play right now are, um, let's see here, I got a dulcimer a piano. Uh, violin, flute, uh, I forget what that one called. It's dulcimer? A, no, it's a, it's an Asian, I already named that off. It's an oh. Asian instrument. Oh yeah, that one. It's like a guitar and... It's a guitar, yeah. It's and like, something else makes. It, it's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, uh, what else do I play? I played the recorder before. I pretty much basically play any instrument if I learn how to use it and I can just play it like that by ear. Yeah, like yesterday, uh, she's never played this on the violin but I walked by uh, when she was playing it outside and she was actually playing Baruch Giver by Gadali Penner and <laughs> I was just like, wow, she's hitting that right on spot. She can play it very well. Yeah. She's never played it before but that was my right first, on spot. first time picking that out actually. Mark, <laughs> Mark's on to pick it out. You're not supposed to hear that. <laughs> Normally when I pick out songs by ear, I play it uh, to myself first, before I present it. I don't really present my instruments to anybody because I like keeping it a more personal thing because uh, I don't honestly like people seeing me mess up. <laughs> it's kind of an embarrassing thing to me. Yeah. But I do play for our family sometimes. Yeah, she did really good that. For me, I can pick out the piano and guitar a little, but, but not much. Um, I learned most of my stuff from Rayleigh, but other than that, I'm yes. not, it's not really my cup of tea. I just really enjoy doing anything with music. She is actually learning to play by ear. Yeah, she's teaching. <laughs> music is anybody and everyone's, yes. so anybody's. She's I actually like music she's actually progressing pretty good. Oh, thank you. I don't I don't think so, but yeah. None of my other siblings or we don't. Yeah, none of my other siblings play any instruments. We're not, my um, mom used to play piano, but my family wasn't big on music, so growing up with music for me was kind of a special thing for me personally. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, am I? I was gonna say something. Oh yeah, as a side note, she does photography too. Yeah. Yeah, she does very good photography. Uh, if you ever see pictures at the end of my vlogs, they're all taken by her. Those are just quick, Mainly. quick shots so imagine what the actual ones are when she tries to focus and make a good shot yeah they're, they're very well uh she's a very she, she's a no she can she could be a professional photographer if she wanted to but that's not the route she's gonna go but just saying <laughs> yeah no sorry not, not that good uh what is a promise ring and when did you receive it okay so this is an interesting question a promise ring 
We've said it in recent vlogs, vlogs, excuse me, before. Uh, and so I promise ring. Ooh, I should go get mine. I don't, I don't wear it sometimes because it doesn't fit me right, but I just don't want to lose it. But I, I'll be back. I'll explain. Okay. So a promise ring is a ring that we get when we're about 12 years old at the accountability age. And we get it and our parents give it to us with a promise behind it. So the promise is, is that we'll stay pure and let our dad agree with the husband we pick out before we marry him. And that uh, we'll stay pure and promise God to stay pure. So it's not only a promise or a commitment to our parents, but also to God. And we pledge it our whole purity of saying pure like that's in like kissing, holding, holding hands. hands. Put it, the guy putting the arm around the girl. We want to save that for marriage specifically because yeah. that's how God meant it to be. So. And we all get to pick out our own ring too, so we all have our yeah. uniqueness about our ring. I like my rings plain and for what I stand for, so mine's a Jewish star. I stand for the Jewish people. That's basically what I try to make my life about because I love them so much. Because, of course, excuse me, of course they're God's chosen people. Mine looks like a princess. It has uh, diamonds, multiple diamonds. It has four big diamonds and multiple small diamonds. And in the middle it has a emerald because May is when I was born, and I really like the color of the emerald, so, because emeralds, they, uh, May birthstone, so. What do your viewers mean to you? Oh, okay. You want to answer Okay, so, uh, our viewers mean everything to us. We don't want to see you as a number. We don't want more numbers. We just want to know what you guys want and what you guys like and, and we, want, how? we want to show the truth and uh the truth of the messiah to you and we just want to help you search out the scripture more and see what god really has in store for you that's our goal and how to present stuff to you as in like what the, your guys' mindsets are so we can more so comprehend how to present things to you because we're all individuals who think differently yeah so although we don't have many num many numbers we don't have many comments we love to hear you guys input on things and uh, what you guys like the most about our vlogs so we can have a more better understanding of how to put better out content for you. Yep. Okay, do you guys plan on going to college? Oh. No. No, not no, me either. No, <laughs> no. Girls, we, we honestly as girls think that we shouldn't go to college. Yeah. It. That's more of a guy thing. That guy has a role to play. The Bible typically bit, like lays it out yes. the Bible typically lays it out that the guy should be ruling over the girl and that the girl should be his helpmate that's what we we're created to be yeah we're not gonna go to college to rack up a big bill for our husbands and then the next thing you know Never we're married it. right before we even get a chance to get a job that we we're planning to get for yeah. nothing so you, yeah just to say that you did it or to like have that. it just in case. Why would we have it just in case if God already has our future plans for us? And if we don't feel like he's guiding us that way, then why go there? Like if you're felt led by the Lord to go to college yeah. to get a job, of course, can you go do it? But otherwise, we like to make it more of a, we like to be more of a homesteader. Yeah, our uh, focus is on homemaker, homesteader, Learning life. to be the best helper and wife to our husbands and children yep. so that's our ultimate goal not just so we can say we did a certain thing in life but so we can say we want to do our best to help our future husbands and in turn that's pleasing to God yeah. so the root of all it all is like just trying to please God in our life yes. and what he wants oh I think you turn oh oh <laughs> If you could take a vacation anywhere, where would it be? Oh, okay. Yeah. Ever Maybe. since I was little. Ever since I was little, okay? I wanted to go to Pennsylvania. I searched it out, okay. Ever since I was little, I had this dream of going to the mountains. But because we live in Ohio, it's so flat. We don't ever see mountains. So at first, I thought, Tennessee sounds pretty good. And my mom and dad wanted to move there anyways. So we were looking for houses around there. So I was like, Tennessee, that sounds pretty cool to go to. I want to go and take a trip there a lot. Well, we went to Tennessee for a trip and I didn't really enjoy it. Yeah, I don't like it there. Then my next thought was like, 
uh, Kentucky when I was like 17. I thought Kentucky is pretty cool. Well, we end up getting land near Kentucky, so I end up seeing what Kentucky's like. Eh, didn't really want that. I actually think Pennsylvania, since I was little, I've read Amish books and really enjoyed hearing about Pennsylvania. And I saw sites and videos on Pennsylvania, and I really love it. And I've always wanted to go there, so Pennsylvania would be my pick. Um, Philadelphia would be cool. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, for me, it would be probably New York City. I've always had a special hunch to want oh, to go there. Forgot about that. Yeah, I want to go to New York, too. I just love Together. how there's big cities. I never really have seen big cities. And uh, I just want to go there and learn more about God's chosen people because there's a lot of them there. And I think it'd be interesting just to see them uh, on a day-to-day -day basis on the streets. And I just think it would be very interesting because, I mean, Going on a hundred uh, story building, that that seems impossible here, so <laughs> I think that sounds very yeah. interesting. Yeah, it's very impossible here. Other than that, I'd love to go to Israel. That That's my uh, biggest dream to travel to. Think about that. That's a I good did. idea. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, you need to know what that is. <laughs> uh, anyways, um, yeah, Israel, the whole day. I think we both want to go to Israel. Yeah. I, I basically want to travel the whole world. I love traveling. Uh, it's been my dream ever since I was like a wee little girl. Yeah. Why is it your turn? No, it's your turn. What is your primary goal for your channel? To reach people with uh, the truth and the, the good news of the Messiah already coming and soon coming again to set up his kingdom. Um, yeah, we just want to reach out and show everyone God's love and how much he loves them more than any other human being, more than anything on earth, because he came down to save us through the precious work of the cross, and he took the most painful death for each and every one individually, carrying our sins on the cross, but didn't just die, he rose again, conquering death and sin to show how awesome and powerful he is. Yep. And that's our ultimate goal. You summed it up well. Thank you. Uh, Who is your favorite singer or group and why? Okay. So you have to ask me, is it in the Jewish realm or the Christian realm? <laughs> uh, we'll answer both. Okay. I uh, am a stickler for Jewish music. I love me it. too. I, I love it. Without Jewish music, this life would be flat. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> without without music, music, life would be flat. flat. Yeah. <laughs> Especially Jewish music. Uh, yeah, and specific. we have another saying: uh, "It's a Jewish acapella thing." You, you wouldn't understand, understand yet. It's a cool thing. Hashtag wise touch. Yes. <laughs> uh, so our favorite group or singer in the Christian realm realm is um, well, I think you guys already seen it. We post our favorite artist on our actual channel. We go to this conference every year. Sadly, we won't be able to this year, but. We go to this conference every year um, that we posted about called the Friends of Israel Gospel Ministry, Ministry Prophecy Conference. Yeah. And uh, they have a worship team there and I uh, absolutely love their music. Ever since I was 14 was like the time I heard it, maybe 13, I t the time I heard it. And the next year I brought my camera to record some songs there and I end up like falling in love with the music. That's my actually first time falling in love with music, actually. My music growth really grew since then. But, uh, yeah, he's my favorite singer. His name's John Wilcox. Uh, is, uh, right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello! Hi! I'm saying hi to Wilcox. I know! Yeah. Yes, I said hi, too. Oh. <laughs> uh, in the Jewish realm? Ah, uh, this is hard. I have to pick a- can I pick a specific person pick and a group? and a group, yeah. And a group? Okay. Yeah. I think I know what you're gonna say, it's so obvious. Yeah, okay. Specific group. Why well, said acapella? My favorite. My favorite ever. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, basically probably ever. Mine too. They're like the best ever. Yes. And then my uh, favorite singer is probably Gedalia Finner. He's pretty cool. I especially like his new song, um... Uh, Matana Tova, it's a really cool song that he just came out with. It's uh, a very cool 
unexpected gift, I guess you call it, because that's the, what Matanato means. It means uh, a great gift. So it was a really special gift for that. Um, yeah? Yeah. Ready for the next question? What made you want to start a YouTube ministry? Okay, so for those of you who have not read my uh, ministry journey, I have a blog about it and it's a link down below. But so basically, growing up, I've always had a hunch to want to do something on YouTube and blog. And I just feel like God is leading me that way. She was always good with computers and technology and finding out new things that she's never even seen. We never really used computers since we were little. Yeah. We first learned how to use a computer two when years I was ago. Was it 15? I thought it was two years ago. Dang. Yeah. Okay, then one year ago. Yeah, so when she first started vlogging, I guess, is when we first uh, started I, using I, computers. Yeah, the first time I ever picked up a computer was the day I edited my first vlog, so. First time we handle computers, so we don't yeah. know much about technology. We're still yeah. learning. What well, we know, we have smartphones. Not us, but our moms. We yeah, use our smartphones. Yeah, we with uh, using. But we phones. try not to use very many electronics because we try to stay away from the world. We don't want it to influence us badly. Oh yeah, as a side note, we're not allowed to get smartphones until we're eighteen. Any phone in general, actually. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Uh, I wasn't done. Go ahead. So uh, growing up, I just felt like I was being led towards that way, and I wanted a certain way to help the Jewish people because I've always had this love for them in my heart. So as I got older, uh, I felt God leading me more so towards doing a ministry for Him, and so God opened up the doors last year for me to be able to do a vlogging and vlogging ministry, and um, it's helped people in tremendous ways. And uh, yeah, we are uh, we hope and pray that it does every day even more so. Yes. That's our continual prayer. Yeah, summed up pretty good. Um, what would be your dream job? I think we already stated this one actually. Not, not mine, but yeah, we we stated yours in your graduation. Yeah. So my dream job, as I said in my graduation, if you guys watch that. Um, <laughs> If you have it, it's in the description. I'm gonna have that so many things in the description. <laughs> uh, my dream job would be to work for a Jewish organization, um, a Messianic Jewish organization, I should say. Uh, a specifically, a Messianic temple or a synagogue, something like that, would be a dream job while I'm still single, unless I get married, which then all plans are canceled and I would She's be. She's going to the Brandon Jarman! <laughs> And then I would be a stay-at-home mom or a homemaker, something like that. Yeah, I'd want to basically take care of the home and be a wife. Take all my time to concentrate on my husband and my kids, if I have any in the future. And just yeah, serve him that way. My dream job would be anything with kids, but specifically I want to help Messianic kids learn more about God and the Messiah and uh, work at like a daycare or a day school or something. That would be a lot of fun for me. Um, that's always been my dream just to help children uh, grow more in the Lord because I have a special hunch for children. I just love children. They're, they're just so adorable. Uh, but that would be a dream to be able to work with them each and every day and uh, help point them to that. But if something happened to where I couldn't work at a ministry to help children, I would probably, uh, because I'm like married or something, I would uh, end up just quitting my job altogether, throwing away that idea, and uh, just raising up my kids to be for the Lord. Yeah. Oh, this one's a good one. What is your favorite parody to listen to? Ooh. Parody. My favorite parody. Oh, parody that, is, that is so hard. That's so hard. Hi, uh, parodies. <sighs> let me think. I, I say Don't Let Me Down. That's my favorite. Don't Let Me Down is a favorite parody of mine listened to by Why Studies Acapella. Yeah. Um, they make a cool one uh, and in the middle of the song. I especially like the uh, part where it goes, Please God, pull us closer, keep us safe, keep watching yeah, over. Those are meaningful words. I like that a lot. Ooh. That one is closely tied with... Um, 
I don't know. There's so many to pick. <laughs> yeah, it's so like hard. What? It's so hard. I really like the. Um, well, that might be considered a parody. I was about to say evolution of Jewish music. <laughs> that's not no. no, no that's no, not a no, parody. No, <laughs> that's just a cool song. Yeah, that's just a really cool song. Let's see here. Parodies here. here. All kinds of songs. Oh, Lala Passover. I love that one. Those I are forgot about that. High. Those are so. That's a cool one to uh, actually get a grip on how Passover, what Passover is, yeah. and stuff, and how you prepare for it and stuff. It's fun. Yeah, that's a fun. One. They're really fun. Seder. Seder's a really cool one. Oh, I forgot about that one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, I can't really decide. Just... Yeah, we have favorites. Just okay. Just all wise it off. Oh, 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 oh! I know one that tops that all. Except for "Don't Let Me Down," greatest passive. Oh, I forgot. About that. Yeah, yes, definitely. definitely, definitely. Yeah. That yeah. was well. No doubt, written. handed down. I like that. How greatest Passover. I like how it's put together. Very well. Very well. It has a deep meaning too. Oh, my favorite, my favorite song. Um, <laughs> what would it be called? It's, this is me from uh, Grace Showman. Oh, what did they? They ended up naming it Yehudim. Is it Yehudim? Yeah, Yehudim. Oh, I didn't know that. They put in some <laughs> CDs in the description Yehudim. I didn't know that. That's cool. Uh, is Oh, okay. Can you add it at all? Yeah. Okay. Here are three of the ongoing questions Is it Shabbat Shalom or Good Shabbos? That's gonna say, yeah, it's there. Uh, Shabbat Shalom or Good Shabbos? I say sh Good Shabbos. I say Good Shabbos. I say Shabbat Shalom. But I go both ways sometimes depending on my mood, but basically, normally, I'll say Shabbat Shalom. Yeah, I say Good Shabbos. Here's another question. Is it a hot dog or a sandwich? It's a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> I read that totally wrong. Is it a hot dog or a sandwich? <laughs> it's a hot dog or a sandwich. Yeah. That's a good question. Um. Yeah, a hot dog's a sandwich. Yeah, it's a piece totally. of meat between two pieces of bread. That's what a sandwich is. Yeah. Yeah. It's a sandwich, yeah. And yeah, if, if you sauce it, you consider on it, it not a sandwich, you're crazy. I, yeah. I've asked many people that question. They say, no, it's not. I'm just like, but you're it, crazy. Yeah. It, it, it is a sandwich. It is a sandwich. Think about it. Yeah. Okay, so. What is your favorite genre of music and what are your music standards? Okay, so my favorite genre of music is Jewish folk. Jewish pop, pop, but not what the world considers pop. Uh, I like pop as like just like a cool beat and easily uh, remembering tune. tune, but the world's pop can be rappy. Yeah, yeah, that's rapping. not what I like. That's not what I mean it at all by it. Um, I like hymns, country, and yeah. That basically covers it all, but it's yeah. really all the genres for me. I like I like pop, Jewish pop, Jewish folk. I like Jewish folk a lot. Uh, I like hymns. I like the old time songs. I like. Yeah, and our standards on it. Oh. No rock, no heavy metal, no, nothing not, like no. that. That is just all worldly, worldly wrong. Get it out of our system. Or holy, don't say it. You don't want to be into music for the beat. That's a wrong kind of music liking system you want to be into it for the words and into the meaning and the spirituality of it so that's how god meant it when he said praise him with the symbols praise him with the heart to be heart. in it praising the lord yeah. that's basically what you do when you're doing music so if you're not praising the lord and just doing it to get yourself pumped up it's not very pleasing yeah to it doesn't please him so we choose not to listen to any of that stuff and just make sure when you're listening to the music the lyrics aren't weird so if it's saying we try, like, we try to listen to a lot of spiritual songs only, yeah. basically. But if there's some fun songs, of course, like the the parodies, those are fun songs. Yeah, yeah, those those are those fun. are also I, I, yeah spiritual. I was gonna say yeah. So yeah, we have nothing against any no, type the music. Any music. It's just love songs. They're cute. I like yeah. They're, I like. I honestly like love songs. They're fun as long as they don't say anything weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or make gotta, you emotionally upset. Yeah, you just gotta make sure you're not in it for the beat and the Emotion. words are geared towards God or nothing weird towards the world. Exactly. Okay. Do you wear makeup? No! No, no. no. We don't wear makeup. We're never, never have, never will. For one thing, I'm allergic to makeup. I'm allergic to basically yeah. anything, so. <laughs> I'm allergic to makeup, so I can't wear it. It makes me have a migraine. 
So that's for one thing I can't wear it. And plus, since I was little, I never really wanted to wear makeup. It's kind of a fake thing to me. Yeah. In my personal... It's a natural thing. beauty that God gave us. So, like in the Bible, it says... Um, I'm made fearfully and wonderfully yeah, made. Yeah, God made so us fearfully and wonderfully made. Why so. would I want makeup to cover it up? Makeup is making your own person up. You don't want to remake yourself. You right. want to be it's happy with how you God are. made you. And you don't want to, like, fool your husband one day and just be like... <laughs> You, he sees a beautiful complexion being like with There's makeup all on it that's that flawless mm -hmm. and then the next thing he knows he marries you and then you're just this ugly zitty thing <laughs> like it's nothing what he thought we show don't want to put true that self. yeah we want to show our true, true self so yeah why are you allowed to listen to parodies but not the actual songs then here's again music standards yeah uh, so when we listen to parodies, we're listening to the actual spirituality of the song and how God rescued the Israelites from danger and miraculously saved them. So that's basically what we're looking for in parodies, but the actual songs can name off some bad things so we don't want to yeah. listen to it, or it can be more rockier. Parodies that we listen to are not as rocky as the actual yeah, song. Yeah, they tone down the rockiness and yeah. make it geared towards God. and what Hashem really wants and made, it to be. made the holiday and music to be. And we love how they um just make it all about how God saved them. Yeah. So it's cool that way. So we like listening to the parodies, but the songs are actually just... The lyrics, lyrics are meaningless and yes. the beat is all your own. Some, some. Like the Greatest Showman songs. They're, yeah, they're, those, those are cool. Yeah, those are cool. Yeah. <laughs> we actually like those songs, but well, the good lyrics, the original lyrics are good. Too, good, so. yeah, they're good. So any lyrics that are good and are okay, we listen to. Yeah. Okay, is that your turn? Yeah. Yeah. What version of the Bible do you use? Yes, that's a good question. Yeah. You want to answer me? You can answer it. You're okay. about it. <laughs> Thanks. Not really. Uh, KJV. We use the King James version. Um, so that's the, in our minds, in our best to say we can say, that is the closest Bible to the actual Hebrew Bible translation, so. The Hebrew, and yeah. the uh, New Testament was actually written in Greek. Yeah. So so. It's translation translation of both in English, and it's the most, uh, it takes it word for word right. from the Hebrew and Greek and turns it into English compared to the Instead rest of, of the Bible. Nowadays. The rest of the other versions of the Bible is just trying to simplify it for you when we should automatically naturally simplify it. God gives the Holy Spirit for a reason to be able to determine those things. Yeah, like when you read the Bible, you don't need a certain word change because God gives you a certain if you change, parts, but if you change it, it changes the whole meaning. How exactly. the world changes the Bible, that's not what God wanted us to do. Then, when you do that, you can conform the Bible to whatever your lifestyle is and not actually do the truth. And then you end up saying, like, oh, my lifestyle is okay, when it's not really what God originally said he wanted you to do with exactly. your life. Just because you can change one little word. Yeah. So we got to try to be careful on that stuff. Where would you like to live? Oh! Ooh! That was fun. Yeah. I was actually talking to Riley about that. As I said, the, the traveling wise, I guess that's like the same vacation wise thing, like how I'd like to go to Pennsylvania. I'd actually like to live in Pennsylvania. I thought that since I was little too. Uh, Pennsylvania would be the place that would be cool for me. I'm not really a big fan of Ohio, so yeah. if I were to have to stay, I'll live in Ohio when I'm older. I would probably end up choosing to live in like Cleveland or something because I want my ministry to be there for one reason. And for another, I just think it's a cooler place. I like the city more so, but I'm I'm cool with wherever God has me, wherever He has me living in the in the country, suburbs, or city. But for me, more so, I'm more attracted to the city. So, but if I could pick anywhere outside of Ohio, I would most definitely go to New Jersey. I uh, just love that little state, and it, I always thought it was so cute, close to New York and a big city, close to. Jewish ministries and the Jewish outreaches and uh, I just feel like it's maybe where God might have me one day. Yeah, and uh, I would like to, in Pennsylvania, have a piece of land to <laughs> run. Yeah, a piece of land to run would be cool. Um, just live off the land, maybe. I don't know. I haven't decided that yet. I'm still waiting on God's plans. Yeah. But uh, it would be close to Jewish people, which would be cool to try to get a ministry with. Uh, or just to work with in general. I like just 
talking to them. They're fun. I like just being around them. Yeah. Uh, they're so they're the they're coolest cool. people on earth. Yes. Very unique. Unique. Peculiar people like how Genesis says. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. Uh, okay. Is it your turn? It's your turn, I just grab one. Why don't we have social media? Okay, so Again, we have to stay away from the world. Yeah. Social media is the world thing. It can suck you into the world very easily. We're not against it. If you want to use it, it's fine. We're okay with that. But we personally try to stay away from that so we don't get, uh, what would you say? Sucked into the world, sucked into the uh, culture being like, just being Trying like, to follow after oh, the world. Yeah. We try to separate ourselves from the world that much. So that we can actually be a called out assembly, I guess you'd call it. Yeah. That. The body of Christ. Although you can use social media for the better. Yes. Yeah. But it is an easy thing to get sucked into the world. And many people are out there to get you through that stuff. But if you have the right mindset behind it and it, you're truly seeking God's will, you can use it for the better for Christ and uh, post stuff about Christ. Or, or if you have fun hobbies yeah. that you post about, let's just say like how we follow music groups. Yeah. You can, you can obviously go ahead and post stuff for that that's fun it's, it's cool but when you go to use it for personal stuff and self reasons you're being selfish in that reality and trying to post your business online and making others busy just so, bodies yeah just so others can be like oh you're doing i great, know what you're whatever. doing yeah. let me go talk about you yeah <laughs> so you don't have to so we don't have to have the situation of talking about people behind their back we try not to give them that stuff yeah yeah as personally we just Feel like we it would be it's better to stay thing. away from that yep it's not our thing <laughs> okay this one's a good question okay how old are you <laughs> honestly i'm 120 and honestly i'm 98 so yeah, yeah. So. can you believe that i'm in perfect shape i know right i'm doing great i'm 98 yeah uh, why do you always celebrate the jewish holidays uh -huh. okay. So, we are very intrigued by the Jewish people. Very, very intrigued. So we celebrate the Jewish holidays because we love them. And because, obviously, the Bible says that they are God's peculiar chosen people who at first accepted, accepted faith the right way yeah. and it took God at his word. So they were the first ones to actually accept God's word and they're a foundation for Christianity and reality through Judah came the Messiah, which we now have Jesus as our uh, ultimate atonement for our sins and his resurrection, which shows his ultimate power to save us. Yeah, yeah the ultimate power. He can overcome anything. So, and all we have to do is believe that for salvation. Yeah, so we celebrate Jewish holidays because we love them and we want to learn more about them and we want to grow in them and try to Reach out to them. Yeah, that, that's in any way our goal. Possible. Yeah, our main goal to reach out to them and love them. Basically, to love them. That that's our whole priority. So, yeah, and everything they do is just so cool. You can't resist it. It's not that we want to convert <laughs> them or anything. We don't want no. to do that. All we want to do is just love on them. Why do you wear pants sometimes and skirts others? Okay, so this goes back to modesty standards. Yes. Uh, so. We wear skirts because we obviously love wearing skirts. Yeah. It's our favorite thing to do, but. When we can't wear skirts, as in when we're playing in the summertime, it's hard to get to wear skirts being modest because when you play, you're going to be rough and you don't want a skirt coming up when you're being rough. Yeah. That'd just be inappropriate. So when it's appropriate, we try to wear skirts, but... I feel like skirts are more modest in mm -hmm. some situations mm -hmm. too because like... It don't show your shape. Our real intention is to try to save other guys from having impure thoughts. Yeah. So as long as wearing a skirt, it doesn't show how you're made. So it makes it pure for yeah. guys to think when they look at us they don't think but thoughts. then in other times when you're doing sports it's immodest because yes. well, you're wearing a skirt so you're wearing a skirt don't fly yeah. up you bend down <laughs> it flies up you uh let's just say you're playing sports it flies up it's inappropriate and you can't do that no. so we choose to wear pants or shorts for those occasions yeah or it's our own thing it, it has every, nothing to do with it says it says it doesn't say it ever to do it in the Bible, but it's just our own preference. If we feel like shorts would be comfortable, yeah. we're on shorts. So. Oh, our last question. Yeah, it is our last question. Woo! Here we go. Oh, final I'm question. Bye. Oh, I say bye. 
I don't know. We'll worry about the yeah, posing in a second. What are some of your hobbies? A great question to end with. Yeah, that is a great question. I like it. Okay, so some of our hobbies. Get our coffee out. <laughs> this isn't the coffee. Yeah, this isn't the coffee. This it's just water. water. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought it looked fancy. Yeah. yeah. Elegant. Cheers. Look, I am. Look, I am. Okay. Okay. Some, some of our hobbies. hobbies. <laughs> <laughs> okay. My hobby. I love drawing, photography. I like art. Uh, I like. I love music. I love the Jewish people. I love collecting autographs. That's my favorite, especially ones that I have memories with. Like, like trying to get it is the funnest part. And then looking back at that, thinking how cool it was when I got it. Having the memories, reliving the moments of getting the memories of getting signatures. So okay. So yeah. Uh, any other hobbies? I like being outside. I like running. Being outside is my favorite. I like going through the woods. Running through the woods, hanging out in the woods, like adds in like clearing woods and stuff. That's all fun for yeah. me. She's that girl. <laughs> I, I'm outdoorsy, adventurous person. She goes shoeless. Oh yeah, I do go shoeless. It's fun. <laughs> it's fun. Felt so freeing. Your hobbies? I thought dad was home. Uh, okay. No, that yeah, is not work. So. Yeah. Okay, so my hobbies. I love vlogging. She, I love cleaning. Yeah, I don't know you, why. You love she loves cooking. Oh, and, and I forgot about that. She loves baking. Sorry, baking. I'm Not more baking. of the cooker, but she loves cooking too. We we, we trade. Yeah, back we and trade forth. back forth. We like both both baking and cooking. I like baking pies. That's fun for me. Making yeah. the crust and like preparation and stuff. Me is fun. more so cookies and cakes. So I like baking my food, and it's just fun. It's a thing that takes me all day. Keeps me occupied. It's I get to listen to music. <laughs> <laughs> while I'm baking, and we like make a lot of memories. Yeah, lots of memories. Yeah. So, like I said, cleaning, cooking. Sorry, I took over your stuff. <laughs> no, you're good. <laughs> uh, I like music. Anything that has to do with music, especially listening or watching. Um, music game. Me yeah. and Rayleigh. Yeah, right? Oh yeah! <laughs> Sorry, I was super awesome thought. Go ahead. Me Sorry. and Rayleigh like singing a lot together, but we, yeah. we don't like sharing our voices with the world. It's no, not a no. personal thing. Yeah, that's personal. We like singing to ourselves with our family. Yeah. <laughs> but if somebody asks us to sing with them in public, well, I wouldn't do it. Yeah. But yeah. We but haven't I'm actually shared. We haven't actually shared it with the world yet, so it's kind of. For now, it's personal. Yeah. Up until we have somebody to sing with, of course. Yes. Soloing. It's not my favorite thing. Yeah. Not my favorite thing. I used uh, to sing with my mom at church. I love but Christmas that, curls. I, I didn't. Singing Christmas it. curls at the uh, nursing homes. Yeah, I used I to. I need some like water. That. I'm slurring. <laughs> You're good. Uh, I also like reading books, um, nonfiction books. I, I hate fiction books, but nonfiction books that will help me in life. I like <sighs> traveling. I like always going new places and for me I can't have the same thing day in and day out. It has to be always something new. Um, I don't really like typical routine life. Mm -hmm. So I like um let's see here, what else Ooh. do I like? We like going out I like the... bike riding a lot. Yeah, I forgot about that. That's one of my favorite stargazing. Stargazing. Yeah. Yeah. That's our favorite thing. We like doing that, but we haven't done that much since. No. We haven't done that we much since March. March. No, we, we just did it the other day out my window. We, That's not typically stargazing. Mm. Stargazing's going outside and looking at the stars. Yeah, last time we did it was March. Yeah. We did a lot in March and February. I guess because we're stuck inside, so we just want to go outside. Probably. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and, but my favorite hobby of all would probably be just spending time with my friends and family, spending quality time, and. Uh, just trying to share the truth with everyone. Those yeah. are my favorite hobbies. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. That, also, that's my dream for life. We like going to the um, lake or something to sticking our feet in the water. That's cool. Ooh, yeah. Hot that's, summer day, that feels the best. I like doing anything crazy outside. Yeah. I like doing, me and Rayleigh both like doing anything <laughs> crazy. We're the crazy. the word crazy on it. We're, yeah. we're there. We're the crazy ones in the family. Yeah. Challenging, fun. Yeah, we like. Running through the woods. Uh, we clear paths. We clear paths and trails for 
Yeah, she's more oh, of the outdoorsy girl that does it day in and day out and likes camping and stuff. Yes, I love I'm more of the one that says, okay, I'll do it for a day, get muddy, have fun, be crazy for a day. But after that, I'm just like, okay, maybe camp. But then after like one night, I start getting bored and like, and I, I, I like my comfort. <laughs> <laughs> I can go like that for traveling with me. I can and go I guess all just day. Just dirt, being in dirt all day without a shower. I can go all day, any day. Although I can also stay here too. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. Anywhere I'm happy. She, Let's yeah, just say she that. <laughs> yeah. So, well, we're basic. We're we're all basically happy wherever God has us, whenever. But mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. So that was a very fun session. I yeah. like that. Yeah. We should do more of this more often. I know. If you, guys, you like this. Yeah. If you guys have any questions, you can always put in the comments. Yeah. If you have more questions, we would be more than happy to do another Q and A. We want to mm -hmm. hear what our fans want to hear. Make sure to check out her blog. Yes. And I have about 11 vlogs on there now. The rest of the vlogs. Yes. Multiple. Yes. And I think I have like 110 videos now. Dang. Yeah. We'll see you later. See ya!